afternoon, Sister Carolyn, Sister Celeste, Mrs. Sadler, Mrs. Singer, faculty, staff, family, friends, and class of 2013. Truth is within ourselves. As I reflect on the past four years, this quote by Robert Browning comes to mind. From the first day of freshman year, we were taught to seek truth, veritas. But to be honest, I never quite knew what that meant. I'd seen the veritas shield on just about everything up here, from the buildings, to the website, to the many publications. But only as we journeyed through our years on the hill did I begin to realize that the truth we'd been seeking lies within ourselves. However, before I speak more about the gift of Flint Ridge Sacred Heart and the impact of Veritas on all of us, I must first acknowledge the fabulous class of 2013. Now, these speeches usually start with a comment stating that the graduating class is the best class the school has ever educated, and normally the audience will nod and chuckle because they're too polite to disagree. However, when I say, when I say that the class of 2013 is truly spectacular and one of the best classes ever to attend Flint Ridge, it's actually true. Nonetheless, a wise junior AP English teacher instilled in us over and over and over again the importance of proving all of our claims with concrete evidence. <laughs> so, this year was the very first year the teachers made a video, which is still on our school website, all about how much they absolutely love their students. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> In addition, our classmates were accepted to prestigious universities such as Princeton, Yale, Stanford, Columbia, St. Andrews in Scotland, the American University at Paris, the Berkeley School of Music, USC, and UCLA. This year, our amazing fellow senior goddesses broke the school record for the number of student athletes to sign with colleges, and fantastic colleges at that. Now, I think that warrants a round of applause. Mm -hmm. Thank you. not forget our Rose Princess, our all-star debater, phenomenal artists, talented dancers, gifted singers and actresses, and groundbreaking writers. From the beginning, we have had a reputation as a bright class, praised for our vibrancy, excellence, and intelligence. We were so respectful and obedient, in fact, that we didn't even pull a senior prank. <laughs> We are the class celebrating the end of an era, fortunate enough to move on into the next chapter of our lives with our beloved vice principal, commencement speaker, and mentor, Mrs. Katie Sadler, who by example has shown us the true meaning of Dominican charism. And within that charism lies Veritas. I ask all my classmates to call to mind what we experienced on Kairos, especially the atmosphere of openness and acceptance. And for those of you who don't know, Kairos is our senior retreat and has been a tradition for many years. On Kairos, we trusted one another. We'd allowed our, we allowed ourselves to be vulnerable, to share our personal struggles with our fellow classmates, because we were encouraged to be our full and complete selves and to be true to ourselves. It is with a spirit of gratitude that I reflect on this environment and realize that it was merely an extension of Veritas on the Hill. We, where we are loved beyond measure for the people we are and are utterly empowered. At FSHA, our search for truth thrived in the classroom, where we were taught to seek our personal truths, to find our voices. And I'm sure our parents will agree that on some occasions we may have taken this lesson a bit too far and voiced our opinions too much. But in all seriousness, at Flint Ridge, we were taught to be fearless, to expand our worldviews, to be who God meant us to be, and to set the world on fire. Instilled in us was the importance of reaching our fullest potential and knowing our self-worth. To live true to ourselves is to lead meaningful lives, for when we are true to ourselves, there is no chance of failure. Yes, life will undoubtedly present unexpected adversity, 
but because we know and have faith in ourselves as a result of our time here, we can persevere through anything. We do not have to let arbitrary or challenging circumstances define us or serve as excuses for not being all that we are capable of being. Rather, we are the shapers of our own truths, our destinies, and as makers of the future, we have the power to achieve anything that we set our minds to. I hope we never forget that the possibilities are always endless, that it is never too late to be who we want to be. As our wonderful salutatorian, Lauren, stated earlier, the limit does not exist for us. We are strong, fierce, independent young women who are not afraid to go after what we want and make a difference. Even our mascot, the Tolog, represents this mission. Now, I know we have a lot of guests here today, so I'm going to ask, does everyone know what a Tolog is? <laughs> Well, for those of you who don't, it's our mascot and stands for To Our Lady of Good or Great Success. In the class of 2013's case, I think it's safe to say great success. <laughs> As the daughter of an alumna, I feel incredibly humbled and blessed to have attended Flintridge and joined this legacy. I see the bond my mother shares with the members of her graduating class, and I have learned that we are Tologs for life. Thank you, FSHA for inspiring us to use our voices and live out our own truths. We are forever indebted to this institution. To the Dominican sisters, thank you for teaching us what it truly means to lead a life of faith, integrity, and truth. We aspire to grow in the Dominican pillars of prayer, study, service, and community. To all our parents, thank you for loving us unconditionally, for protecting, guiding, and preparing us for the rest of our lives. We know we probably took you for granted on more than one occasion, but we also want you to know how appreciative we are of all the sacrifices you have made for us. We love you and hope we have made you proud. To my 90-year-old grandmother, I will never forget where we come from. I will never forget our heritage. To Jay, thank you for being the father I never had. I love you and I'm so happy you are joining our family. To mom, aka Pocahontas, <laughs> thank you for being my best friend. It's always been just you and me against the world and I love you more than words can express. To the teachers, faculty, and staff, earlier I joked about how much you love us, but truth is, we love you more. We know that we will never have educators who will genuinely care about us or inspire us as much as you do. We're really going to miss you. To the senior class, please hold hands with the person next to you. And if you're feeling some of the emotions I am, you feel free to bow your heads or, I'm sorry, ladies, head inclinations. <laughs> knowing that it will only happen once in our lives. We are surrounded by immense love and support, not only by the family members and friends and the seats in front of us, but by each other. It has been such an honor to be your classmate oh, sorry. and witness all your accomplishments, knowing that you will be the future doctors, lawyers, Broadway stars, athletes, artists, CEOs. I will miss you all greatly but I look forward to seeing how successful you will be on the paths you are destined to take. As an only child, I always wanted siblings, and I am happy to say that I now have 105 sisters. Sisters from diverse backgrounds, countries, faith traditions, and life experiences, but sisters that have all shared this special time together. It truly proves that everything happens for a reason, that we, a one-of-a-kind combination of individuals sitting here today were placed on this hill for a purpose as part of our personal journeys. And what an incredible journey at Flintridge it has been. As Mrs. Lem told us on Kairos, always blessings, never losses. Let us never forget what a true blessing this experience was and forever will be in our hearts. Congratulations, class of 2013. May we strive to continue living our lives in Veritas. Thank you.